What's up, Ember Nation? Gerald here for a really, really quick video. Uh, so it's gonna be really simple, just to help you guys out because Nick told me you guys were asking this in the live stream. So uh, I might as well do this really quickly to help you guys out. So in this video, we're going to be covering how to uh, use HTML in your descriptions to have a very nice and neat and professional looking description. Uh, if you don't use HTML, uh, when you do line breaks or spaces, everything just kind of you know, um, gets crushed together and all your spaces and paragraphs and everything um, get lost. So I'm gonna just teach you this really quick and yeah, it'll be really simple. So the main things you're gonna wanna learn now, I'm not an expert in HTML. I don't do HTML websites. I picked this all up just from using Reddit. So the first thing is, the main two things, if you don't learn any of them, are that you want to know are BR, oh, sorry, that's not, BR, just like that, and then bold, which would be this, and then your text, and then this with the dash, forward slash, and then the next thing you want to know is your italics, which is just an I, with your text in the middle, and then like that. So I'm gonna put these all in the, in the probably the description, so you can always come back and just copy and paste if you forget, but this is what this is. So this here, BR, is your line breaks. So if you're going to say, let's for an example, um, let's say this product is a um, Bluetooth speaker. So Bluetooth speakers, and then you want that, you want that to be your title, then you wanna put a space. So you want to do a line break, you're going to go BR, and then the next line will be here, and maybe in italics, we can say best Bluetooth speed speakers in the world, right? And then you want to do another line break. So usually I'll just copy these. If I know I'm going to do a lot of line breaks, I'll just copy them. Break, and then you can do these multiple times. So if you want to have multiple line breaks, you just keep on going like that. And then let's say for real. Let's go ahead and save and finish this just to show you guys what this is gonna look like. Bluetooth speakers in bold, best Bluetooth speakers in the world. And then there's your line breaks for real. Now let's see what happens if I was to um, not have all the HTML in there, just so you guys know what I'm doing exactly. So let's go ahead and delete all of these HTML pieces. And let's format. So Bluetooth speakers, space, best Bluetooth speakers in the world, for real. Right? So it looks the same. Go ahead and press save and finish. So there you can see it. Uh, Bluetooth speakers, best Bluetooth speakers in the world, for real. Even though we had all the spacings and everything, uh, without the HTML, it takes it all out. So let's get into some more advanced ones, uh, like bullet points and yeah, pretty much bullet points. So we're in here, best Bluetooth speakers in the world, right? So let's go back and put our stuff back in. So bold. All right, so I got that all typed out. So we're gonna put a reasons why, reasons why they are the best uh, Bluetooth speakers. So now we're going to get into doing bullet points and bullet point lists. So uh, I'm sure a lot of you people have seen bullet point lists on Amazon descriptions. Uh, when you have those, it looks a lot more professional. Uh, you can organize your product details and like your selling points in a very organized way. So we're going to get into how to do that. So there's two types of lists. One is a just um, the bullets or just the dots, like the black dots. And the other one is a number list. So one, two, three, four. So we're gonna do show you how to do both. So what you wanna do, go ahead, put in a line break again. And for just the dots, the black dot bullet points, it is like um, it is UL. So UL stands for un, uh, unnumbered list or unorganized list, something like that. Uh, so that means there are no, no numbers. So you got your list started. You go in again and you put LI for list, right? Um, and this is to separate your individual bullet points. So let's say, best connection and then you end the li with a forward slash and then let's say loud base li and then one more we can say um, water resistant oops li 
Okay, so that will be, and then at the end of the list, you have to put a end to the ul. So forward slash again, ul, that will end, sorry, that will end your unnumbered list. So now if you want to do, um, oh no, unorganized list is what it stands for, because if you want to do the next one, you're gonna have to put a break, and then let's say, I don't know, top three, things to do with speakers, okay? Line break. And then we're gonna go into organized list. So this will be numbered, okay? So instead of UL, same thing, but it's OL, stands for organized list. And then you still have to do the LI. And let's say, so this will be say number one, and then you can say play music, LI. Sorry, I'm so slow at this. Uh, like I said, I'm not professional. <laughs> uh, talk on the phone, because it has a mic. And then last thing would be, um, gosh darn. And that last thing would be uh, party, I don't know. Party, all right, L-I. So now if we're gonna go take a look at this, it looks like it was complicated, but as you can see, it was pretty easy to lay out. So let's go save and finish, and then we'll go to the listing. All right, so here we are at the listing. So as you remember, we got the bold for the um, the title. We got best music speakers in the world, line break for real reasons why. Best connection, loud bass, water resistant, line break, top three things to do with speakers. Then we got one, two, three, play music, talk on phone, and party. And uh, now we're gonna get, that's pretty much it. With, if you know this, you can re make really nice product descriptions and you're good to go. So I'm gonna leave all those in the comments or in the description, but I'm gonna get into some advanced ones just for fun. All right, so we get back into the descriptions area and don't be scared, it's going to look like this because obviously the HTML does not affect the actual editing area, um, but it's all fine. You can actually write it out like this, but I like to space it obviously to get the visual. So I'm gonna head and put another line break. Um, then these are just the four little symbols that you might need in your product. So if you want to hit put that uh, that C, that copyright symbol after your product, you just have to hit Alt, hold down Alt, hit 0169, and then there you get the copyright C. Or if you want the TM, the trademark, uh, which probably will be more uh, applicable, you'll put hold down Alt again, it's 0153. Um, if you want the, um, what's the, what is another one? The uh, sorry, the R, the registered, it's Alt 0174, I believe. Yep, so 0174 is the registered symbol. And then if you have something that's temperature, uh, you can go ahead and put the degrees by 0176. And then you got the little degree sign. So there's your basic HTML. Uh, that's all you really need to know to write product descriptions in Amazon in a professional manner to make sure your listings are converting uh, to get you those maximum sales. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.